In this video, I explain the application of pilot to open check walls. So in this theory, there is a two types. First one is for the false circuit in one direction and the false circuit in both the directions. So here you see this image that is a false circuit in one direction means one check wall is used. Pilot to open check walls and false circuit in both the direction in which we are using the two pilot to open check wall. So first we understand why these uh, circuits are required means pilot to open check wall is why required. Okay. So it is covered in a false shape circuit means on a first type. Okay. So here you see this is the one diagram. This reservoir pump motor pressure relief valve directional control valve. This is the first position, second positions and the mid position. This mid position is the center type mid positions and it is the double acting cylinders and here you see that is a pilot to open check wall this is the inlet and this is the outlet that's why here i n o is written in hydraulic system even with close center mid position of direction control valves means in this diagram you see this is the close center to mid position means a and b part is connected with this t part okay and overrunning load will not stop positively and it start creeping downward slowly due to the internal leakage in a directional control valves means suppose we are not using this pilot to open check valve in a hydraulic circuit then what happens then the overrunning load means the weight is moving in downward direction and piston is also moving in downward direction it is called as the overrunning loads okay so right now you see this diagram is for the overrunning loads okay so due to this weight the piston is try to move in the downward directions okay at that time this oil here or oil in this pipe is create the pressure on the directional control valves and in the directional control valve some leakage is occurs okay and due to this leakage the weight is start to move gradually in a downward direction means we are not able to hold the load or a weight at the certain desired positions okay suppose we need to stop this weight or here suppose the machine is there and we we sustain the machine on the certain heights so it is not possible due to this internal leakage in a directional control valves okay so the so we have the one options to avoid this leakage in directional control valve that's why here in this directional control valve you see that the one pilot to open check valve is put that means one valve is put in these lines okay so pressure is not directly come onto the directional control valves and leakage is avoided okay so here the leakage is avoided by placing the pilot to open check valves in these lines so no more pressure is created in directional control valves and we are able to create the leakage and if you are know the how the pilot to open check valve is work then it is easy to write this theory for you okay so we discuss this working of this pilot to open check valve during this studying this theory all spool type direction control valve allow a small amount of the internal leakage of oil and it is avoidable okay so here you see that is a spool type directional control valve means every spool type directional control valve that is a small amount of internal leakage is there and it is avoidable the pilot to open check valve are used to avoid creeping down of the load when the directional valve is kept in a center position so as to stop the loads stop the load means we need to sustain the load on certain desired positions okay so we already discussed uh, why we are need to the desired position of some weights and how the leakage is created okay so now we move towards the detail working of that so this is the same diagrams okay so figure shows the hydraulic circuit for an application of pilot to open check valve the pilot to open check valve is fitted to the bottom end part of the cylinder so here you see this is the bottom end part and this is the top end parts so this is the top end part is the road end parts and this is the cap end parts okay so it is a reverse in earlier with theory we are discussing that in upper part is cap end part and down part is the road end parts but here you see in upper side the road is provided that's why here it is a road end part so instead of the top uh, cap end road we are use the words top and bottom so here bottom end part of the cylinders in this in the pilot to open check valve is installed and its pilot connection is taken from the top end parts means we know that pilot to open check valve is work on the pressures okay so this pressure is sensing from the top end port lines okay here you see this is the top end port line it is connected with a port and this is the bottom end bottom end port line and it is connected with this b ports 
and it is installed in a bottom end port line pilot to open check valve is installed in a bottom end lines and its pressure is sensing from the top end port sides in a first positions of the 4 by 3 dcv oil flow from p to b and a to t so here we return the one that means it is first position earlier we starting in all this theory the first position is this straight types okay but here we consider this is the first positions means here the p port is connected with this b and a port is connected with this t this flow is forward flow from its inlet to outlet of the check valve and this flow is allowed hence the cylinder is extends and the load is lifted so this p port is connected with b means oil coming from the pump is supplied in p ports from the p port it is go in a b port and from the b port oil is enter into pilot to open check valve and then it is out okay and then it is supplied into the cylinders and this oil is apply some force on the piston and piston is start to move in upper directions and they lift the load in upper direction this is called as the extensions of the cylinders in a second positions of the 4 by 3 dcv oil flow from p to a and b to t so here you see this is a first square inside that straight line is there means p port is connected with a port and here it is downward line that b port is connected with this t ports this flow is the reverse flow for the check valve it is the reverse flow why it is reverse flow so during the second positions the oil coming from the p port is supplied in a port and from the a port it is go to the top end ports and this oil is applied the pressure on the piston and piston is start to move in downward direction so this is the reverse flow for this check valve and it is not allowed but the check valve is opens because of the pilot pressures so in this top end lines means from the a port to the top end line this pressure is higher and due to this higher pressure this check valve is open and when the check valve is open they are supplied the pressurized oil from the bottom end port to the b ports hence the cylinder is retract and the load is lowered the mid positions of 4 by 3 dcv is used to stop the load in between so here you see this is a mid position it is a center type mid position and it is used to hold the load or stop the load in between means suppose we are uh, lifting some machines from the ground floor to the third floors okay and in between some wire is coming and due to this wire we need to hold the machines on the second floors or the first floors okay so we need to move the hydraulic systems in the mid positions then we are able to load the weight on the certain desired positions notice that both the port a and b are open to the tank port t in the center positions so in a center position you see that the a and b both the port are open and they are connected to the t port means oil coming from the a and b ports are supplied to the tank ports this type is called as the flush type center position and it allows the pilot pressures to drop to zero as there is a no pilot pressures the pilot to open check valve does not open it and remains closed means in this line in top end port lines there is a no pressures and no pressure mean this pilot to open check valve is stop means oil is not supplied forward to these lines means from the bottom line oil is coming but it is not supplied to the heaters so oil is stop in these lines and the bottom part of the pistons okay so this oil is avoid the bottoming of the weight and suppose we not use the pilot to open check valve then what happens oil is go to directional control valves and due to the internal leakage the weight is slowly slowly coming down so we are not able to hold the or stop the weight onto certain desired positions so this is the requirement of the use to pilot to open check valve to stop the load or a hold the loads on a certain desired positions it will not allow even a drop of oil flow through it and thus the cylinder is locked and the load will not creep down if you learn something then like my videos and subscribe my channels for watching the more video related to the ohp and other subject of the mechanical engineering now we study the second type that is a false shape circuits in both the directions now before go to this topic i request you to watch the more video related to the ohp the various link is provided in descriptions and the top right screen of your mobile that is a i symbols and for other subject i request to visit the playlist now here you see that is a we need to control in a both direction means we need to use the two pilot to open check valve so here this is the pilot to check valve open that is written as the po so first is p and two open it is for the o 
and first number that is indicated as 1 and this is the PO2 and the PO2 is sensing from the road and pot side pressures and the P01 is sensing the pressures from the cap and pot lines ok so they are sensing from these lines the first positions of the 4 by 2 DCV oil flow from pump to the cap and pot of the cylinders so this is the P pot and this A pot and from the A pot oil is supplied to the cylinders due to this pressure in this line so pilot operated check valve PO1 is opens means pressure in this line is higher ok and it is sensed by these lines means the oil is supplied from these lines and this PO1 is open hence the oil is flow from the road end pot R to the tank means this valve is open due to this higher pressure in this top end pot line or a cap end pot line ok this line is open due to this below to open check valve 1 is open so oil from the road end pot side is supplied to the B pot and from the B pot it is supplied to the tank pots in a second positions of the 4 by 2 DCV oil flow from the pump to the road end R of the cylinders means oil come from the pump is supplied to A pot and from the A pot it is go to the B pots and from the B pot this line it is supplied to the road end pots of the cylinders and due to the pressure in this line pilot operated check valve PO2 is open so in these lines the pressure is higher that is the oil is supplied in the PO2 and this valve is open and hence the oil is flow from the cap and pot to the tank and pilot operated check valves avoid the overrunning of the cylinders and falling of the loads thank you for watching this video if you learned something then like the video and subscribe the channels and share with your friends